it's just not St. Patrick's Day without a festive cocktail or glass of green beer. So it's not St. Patrick's Day on daytime without our favorite mixologist extraordinaire Ashley Vincy is back with some fun themed drinks for the weekend. That's Thank you right. so much for coming on the show. You're very welcome. Thanks so you for have me. three cocktails that you're gonna three. do for us. The first one is the Nutty Irishman. That's right. So what goes into this? In okay. So we have it's down here. Okay, it's over here. We've got our Bailey's Irish Cream, which you have to have. That's one of the key flavors of every Irishman's, you know, coffee. Okay. And then this is uh, hazelnut liqueur. So this is Frangelico. It's an ounce of each of those things. Oh. We're gonna top. So is that like it. Nutella? Is that like the yeah, Nutella it's, of drinks? It's got similar. <laughs> okay. If you add a little chocolate, it absolutely would be. Okay. Gonna add some hot coffee to this. So this is a good if you're if you're sick of like Irish coffees, this is your go-to. Okay, so do this. And then you don't have to add whipped cream, but oh, listen, why the heck not? I love whipped cream. Me too. And then you gotta add your little green flair. Is that just like green sugar? Just green sugar. And look at that. Decorated sugar. That is beautiful. I love it. How okay. festive. Yes. I okay. Um. So that's the nutty Irishman. We're gonna have these recipes on our website, daytimebluerich.com. The next one is an Irish mule. Irish mule. So mules are still really popular. Okay. We're gonna just switch out the vodka and do Jameson mm -hmm. Irish whiskey. That's an ounce and a half right there. Okay. Pour that into our copper mule because, you know, those are the most important things. Yes, that's a very important part of a mule. That's right. I like to put a couple dashes of bitters in it. Okay. And then, of course, you have to have your ginger beer. Okay, so that's, I feel like that's what makes a mule a mule, right? It Every is. mule has a ginger beer. And this ginger beer is amazing. Okay. Just, everybody should try it. Okay. And then we're going to squeeze a couple limes down in there. there is that something go. that's usually part of a mule? Yes. Or is that, okay. The only so thing the that is different that, uh -huh. is the, the bitters. That's what's Not making everybody it. puts that in there. Okay. And then the last one, we have a black and tan, which I feel like I've heard of this drink before, yes. but I don't know what it is. So it's a very popular Guinness drink. Okay. Um, we're going to be using double Guinness. So we got the Guinness Blonde Lager, and that's going to be first. Okay. Let me pour that into our special Guinness glass. Wait, that's Guinness? Yeah, well, it's made by Guinness. What? I didn't yeah. know they made anything so other it's than their blonde lager. Oh. Now, with a little luck of the Irish, this will layer properly. But God help me. Okay, listen. <laughs> this is your this is your moment to this shine. Is, so we have a special spoon that we're gonna pour on the back of very very slowly. Okay. Oh. I don't know how slowly that is. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So you have to use the nitrogen can. Okay for it to layer properly. Is that even a Guinness spoon? It is. My goodness. I get all the tools. You sure do. OK, Ooh. let's talk about um, Billy's and your hours this weekend. So Billy's is going to open at 10 AM. Okay. That's a special wow. hour for us. We'll have special St. Patrick's Day menu. Of course, we've got to feature some corned beef. Of course. You have to have it. Yes. It's so delicious. And okay. We're, and we're in a lucky spot because we're right in the middle of some of the madness. It really is. It's, it's such so a good exciting. place. So definitely come see that. I think that looks great. Yeah. And as it's sort of like the nitrogen breaks and it cascades, yeah. it's really pretty. Awesome. Thank you so much.